They're everywhere. What are you doing there, Jed? Rounding up the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> well, good tales this morning. Uh, just heading to the neighbours over the road there. Uh, they got a bit of a grass fire happening. See you later. Oh, they all look so sad. <laughs> well, here we are in sunny Arthur River. Uh, we're just looking after a farm. This is our first. Um, day on our own we've been here for a few days uh just getting to meet the owners and find out where everything is and uh what to do and uh yeah so we've got our uh, five dogs to look after four of them are kelpies and um one puppy that's a black lab uh we've got three chooks a duck two cats and seven thousand sheep yeah, just got to feed the sheep uh, once a week. We're going to do a bit of a lupins supplement. Um, so give them a bit of feed once a week, which only takes a few hours out of, um, out of those silos. And yeah, just general looking after the place and keep it under control. Um, that's about it. So yeah, pretty good. A bit of a tragedy this morning. Looks like uh, heat waves um, don't stand the test against uh, Labrador puppies. That's alright. I've always got a spare. Have to use me going out here. There is a uh, IGA in Cogen up, so Hopefully, uh, they might have some more. And this is Kimmy. What's going on? Oh, you going all right? Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Is that good in the sun? Mm. Belly scratch. Oh, yeah. Want to come for a drive? Maybe. I feel like maybe we can stay here. <laughs> <laughs> to keep scratching you. Got a bait. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> really? All right, let's keep me home like this. No puppies. So yeah, we're just going to pop out now and check the sheep and the boundary fence. Uh, probably take a couple of hours, we're just going to do that early this morning before it, um, before it gets too hot. Uh, just out on one of the paddocks out the back here, just checking on the sheep. This is uh, right in the distance over along there. Is uh, one mob of sheep and it's 2,000. Safe and sound. Decided to take the D Max today for a bit of luxury. Action. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bit of fence repairing. Um, gonna make sure you've got all the appropriate safety gear including heat waves. Watch that snake. I think the fence is still uh, intact. Alright, cool. I'll get chopping. Ah, fuck off. <laughs>
Boom. It's good as new. Look at you go. Oh. Work never stops on the farm. <laughs> Keep going. Mm hmm. Cool. Time for a cup of tea? Cup of tea time. <laughs> but work never stops. Yeah, nah. It does for a cup of tea. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there is millions of swallows. They're everywhere. We're going to get a shat on, aren't we? Probably. I'm really glad I've got a hat on. <laughs> Every now and then you see one that just sort of like glides through. Mm. You would try and keep your eye on one of them. Mm. And we've noticed uh, they've all just started flying in the shearing shed. I guess they've gone in because the sun just set. Maybe. Because they've just been mm. flying around the door, nothing's been going in there. Yeah. Here oh, look at them all go in there. <laughs> so possibly one of the worst things that can happen while you're out on a farm is to see this. So these are the neighbours across the road from where we're house sitting. Um, we got a call from the owners of this place um, just to go and give the Paul and Lisa a hand. So you can see cars running around everywhere over there. Hopefully they can get it sorted. They definitely seem to be getting ahead of that in the back, but it's just that front. A bit of chaos this morning. Uh, just heading to the neighbours over the road there. Uh, they got a bit of a grass fire happening. So. Uh, I'm just trying to track down the best way to get in and I've got the pot of water and the firefighting unit on the back So just bashing along uh, and trying to get around the back of this fire We've got the pot on the back there oh, Hopefully we can uh, stop it before it gets uh, too crazy I've got my trusty heat waves on, that's, that's all the shoes I've got So anyway, better, uh, so good. Everyone keeps uh, looking at me like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Where did he come from? Uh, everyone must know everyone except for me. But they probably know uh, Simon's Ute, so anyway, I'll keep looking at the fires. Uh, there is so many farmers out here helping out, which is fucking awesome. pretty much it just gonna make sure it's all good for the night and yeah it started over there and worked its way up over the hill up there is a burnt out baler so that was the cause of the fire was um, a contract baler was uh, baling all the straw and Something happened and uh, a bit of friction in the baler and um, something was blocked. I don't really know the ins and outs of balers, but yeah, something got blocked and um, up she went. So uh, apparently $750,000 is the tractor and the big baler. Um, yeah, so that's done. And one of the other uh, fellas lost his ute. But we're able to save the couple of tractors and the bins, which was my first job when we rocked up. It was uh, chaos. I had the owner of the property on the back of the ute. And uh, we ran around pretty quickly, 
he was um, yelling directions at me and we were just driving through the smoke and lucky he knew where he's going because I did not. And uh, yeah, good outcome in the end. Um, no one was hurt and no livestock was lost. I have to say one thing I was uh, impressed with was um, how many people rocked up so fast. I think I was the third or fourth person here and um, it seemed like within five, ten minutes of me being here, it was, uh, it was uh, people everywhere. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to sneak up on red-tailed black cockatoos again. And they're very timid. Just through there you can see there's a couple there. You can see underneath their wings. This is what they're chasing. Honky ants. Bella's eating one right now. Oh. That was as close as I've got to them for a few days. Maybe they're getting used to me, I don't know. I'll leave the um, black cockies to it and just gonna uh, put out some feed this morning for the sheep. So you just gotta hook up the little uh, hopper to the Forby and we've got a four paddocks we're going to take um, our lupins out to and feed the sheep. We do that once a week. So all the dogs are waiting for me. <laughs> I, bailed, I bailed the quad to, um, to go see the uh, birds. What's going on? You good? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> this is the um, hard paddy. Hard to find, but easy to feed these lot. Yeah. They like to follow. Yeah, just have to try and find them. Okay. Uh, yeah, they hide in the um, tree lines a lot of the time. So if they're not near a dam, they're in a tree line somewhere. And... It can be difficult to spot them. Yeah. Pretty sure we've been driving for like a fucking hour. Yeah. These guys. We came in a gate just over there. And the fuckers are right here. Now we've just located the second mob of sheep and um, right in amongst them was a fox. That's the uh, third fox we've seen this morning. So maybe if I talk nice to the uh, owners, um, they'll let us come out here and uh, have a shoot. Try and get rid of some. Anyway, that was uh, a lot easier to find these ones than the last ones. Last, they're, they're running away pretty quick. 
Um, so I might put the feed down here and then try and get them back. I think I might be to go. Well, the sheep are over there. Um, not like the other mob of sheep that knew that we had some feed. These ones are a little this one's timid. Younger ones, eh? um, not too sure. Could be. Uh, so we've just got a bit of hard ground in front of us, so I'm just going to pull the old rope. This one here. Pull that and drive along and drop some grain down. And then try to muster them back to the feed. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. Maybe. Uh, we're going to try something a little technologically advanced here. Kel can round them up with the drone. I don't know about that, but... Yeah. So we'll see if it can be done. Um, this might be... Genius. An innovation step forward for sheep farming. Sheep dogs will be a thing of the past. Call the drone the sheep dog. Found them again. They're running away. No. Come back. Turn them around a bit. Go and go back that way. Oh, he's going totally the wrong way. How'd you go? Uh, that was good. They, uh, surprisingly, they respond to it pretty well. On the feed, anyway. Living and I'm working on the land. He's right on in there. He's white. Big balls. Look at 
Look at old mate in the middle. His nuts are nearly touching the ground. <laughs> oh. Holy jeez, mate. Sheep have disproportionately sized large. balls. One, uh, there's two there, I reckon. They were, um, they were hitting the ground pretty easy. Big balls. Just out the back of the house we're looking after. Uh, today, unfortunately, we lost the house duck and there's a fox been hanging around out the back here. The duck got taken on a little dam just there um, this afternoon. Um, I just came out, it's about nine o'clock at night and he was back just sitting on the corner there. And... Oh man, so frustrating. Uh, broad daylight. Ah, oh, there he is. Right in the distance. Little fucker. I hate foxes. Especially now, it killed the duck. He's obviously come back for another look. I've seen this same fox here about the last three days. And, um... I'm a bit devastated at myself because I thought yesterday I should keep those chooks locked up all day and I didn't today. And of course, uh, as Murphy's Law would have it, the yeah, fox came in and I don't know if he was scoping out the area the last few days, but yeah, he definitely knew something was up. There you go, welcome. Going on. Yep, time for bed. That way. That way. There you go. You right there? What's going on, Bob? Hey. What's going on? Let Sammy have a drink. What's happening? What are you doing? Uh, we are just uh, packing up, everything's hooked up, and Kel's going to do the roof. Okay. Yep. Sweet. Yep. Got a couple of hours drive, the Savo, just back down to Burrow Cup. A couple of days there, uh, sorting out some bits and pieces. Uh, load the tinny on, reload some gear in here, and then uh, head south. We're gonna pretty much book it down to Esperance, um, which is like 700, 600, 700k. Do at least one night somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, won't do it all in one stint. And then we'll be down at Esperance for a few days just catching up with Kel's dad and Angie and then we will meet up with some other friends down there they're coming down to visit and yeah, all good and that's about it so yeah looking forward to uh, just traveling again uh, this has been good the farm sit it's um just have a bit of a routine for a little bit and chill out, um, able to get a few little jobs done on the, um, 
on the D-Max and on the caravan, just some little bits and pieces. Uh, I was able to do a bit of knife making, which is good. And what else? Yeah, and just, um, just have a bit of routine life for a little bit. Um, it's actually good, but yeah, we've been here for a bit over three weeks. I'm really looking forward to the south coast going down there. Um, we've done a fair bit in the past of um, skipping through a lot of the places down south, so it'll be good just to um, be able to have a bit of time and call in and camp a few days at each place we've always wanted to stay at. I was just saying goodbye to all the animals. Thanks to Simon and Lucy for letting us camp at your place. Hopefully we looked after it uh, good enough. The other dogs down here, do you know? Yeah, I'd say so. I'll drive around. Yeah, Roger. This is my favourite dog. This is Kimmy. See you, Kimmy. Be good. Oh, belly scratch. Oh. See you, Sam. Be good, mate. Be good. All right, I gotta go. See you, Bob. Be good. Oh. Hey, Sammy. Hey, Sammy. Hey, He's your best mate. Yeah. All See right, you, guys. Be good. See you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can, no, we're not going to you. Alright, be good. Bye guys. Stay there. See you later. Oh, they all look so sad. <laughs> See you, Nera. Be good. Road again.